What's up guys, I'm Z-Rays and welcome to another VR Chat video. Today I'm bringing you Through the Looking Glass. Um, it is a work in progress map and I'm going in solo because Mr. Terrible cannot join me at the moment. Uh, he is very busy IRL and I don't know if he's going to be able to join me for future videos but I hope I can bring you much enjoyment with these videos still. Uh, let's cheer him on and hopefully you guys can cheer me on as well. Anyways, enough about that. So yeah, this is called Through the Looking Glass and um, apparently it's a work in progress. I will say a few things though. Epilepsy warning, there is blood and stuff like that as far as I'm aware. And um, yeah, let's try this map out so without further ado let's go right into it so i don't really know much about this other than apparently it says through the looking glass so there's a lot of doors here can we go in them no okay Wow. Yeah. Oh, look, a happy family. Um, baby picture. Oh, can we go out here? Yeah, we can. All right, cool. Kitchen. Okay. Oh, a book. Through the Looking Glass, a sequel of Alice's adventure after Alice in Wonderland, Alice finds herself again in a weird place after walking through a mirror, hence Through the Looking Glass. Hmm. Okay. Anything in here? No. No. Okay. Oh. Hi, it's me. I'm Z-Race. Hello. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, there's a lot of audio and stuff, so copyright, copyright. Oh. Um, uh, let's see. Red, blue, blue pill. Cool. Okay. Anything else? That shower bathtub me again hi uh jesus jesus christ is here another bathroom whoa what's that uh you guys see that oh okay dream with your mind believe with your heart achieve with your talent cool let's go i don't know where we're going but that book had something to do with... It says through the looking glass. So, can we go in here? A shrine! Yeah, cool. Through the glass? No? No, no. Oh. Ha! Okay. Oh. Wait, that's the picture of the book. Okay. Here? Oh, it's a mirror here. Wait, can I? No. <gasps> Wait, you can go through. You can go through it! Oh, God. Is that, are you Alice? Alice? Are you Alice? Al oh. 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 Okay. Mirror here? No. Okay. Oh, so that opens. Oh, it's some French song that always plays around. My parents can't stand it, and my baby sister cries non stop when it starts playing. For some reason, it has quite the effect on people. Yeah, for me, it's copyright. They are always fighting. Dad and Mom told me to not go near that room, although at times, Dad sounds a lot like them. Nope. 
No, no. Okay. I used to play a lot of hide and seek from dad, and this was one of my favorite places to hide. Sadly, he keeps finding me quickly these days, and especially when he has been drinking. Uh, of course, an alcoholic dad. <laughs> a small frame picture from the prior family that lived here of their baby. It looks quite like my baby sister. I'm sure she was the main attraction of the family just like mine is. One of the prior residents that lived here before we came in. I can't wait until I can replace these frames with frames of our family. I mean, who wants to look at some stranger's faces? I mean, the fact that you haven't by now is kind of crazy, though. Oh, God. Oh, is that Alice over there? Hi. Okay. That's the kitchen. Mom has a talent for cooking, while Dad has a talent for... other... stuff. Mom used to cook plenty and all the time, but Dad thinks she is too carefree in how she spends their money. I'd say it's good for keeping food cold, but for now this refrigerator is filled to the brim with drinks from Dad. He doesn't like me getting close to the refrigerator, because I once opened it, and a lot of stuff from Dad fell out, and there was glass... everywhere. I hid in the bedroom closet the entire day that time. Beer. Same family at a younger period? Or different one? Whatever. It's just a bunch of strangers smiling. Is it just me? Or are all these portraits of people with big grins just unsettling to look at? Yeah. Of course. I always say though, if somebody's always happy, that's a problem. I don't know why. There is nothing to see here i swear i have so much other stuff to show you so just ignore this mirror there is nothing okay oh the shrine turned red okay can we go in here oh okay You know what? I'm gonna change my size a bit because I'm a bit too big. There we go. I'm much fitted now. Cool. Alright. Hi! Oh. A weird looking shower that makes me feel locked up at times. But mom loves to spend time in the bathroom. It's one of the few places where she can turn on the shower and drown out the noise or discomfort she faced that day. Although dad often blames her for the increased water bill though. Sounds about right. It's a toilet, I guess. I mean, I'm not sure what to tell you more than that. Surely I don't have to explain how to use it. Just let me know beforehand as I don't want to be around. Oh, you can see the shrine through the mirror. Okay. Well, we're gonna go to that. Oh. Can we jump through the mirror? Mirror! Oh. Like the song? I said it freaked everyone out, but I didn't mind it. In fact, the source of the song, let's just say, is a good friend of me now. Unless you want to meet it, and this is a warning, I'd say not to disregard me anymore when I tell you not to do something. So we continue ig ignoring you. Okay. <laughs> she keeps reminding me of my little sister. As such, this picture irritates me beyond belief. She never shuts up. She takes all the time away from my mom, and dad and she is so insufferable that there were times I wished she was never born to begin with. Girl went up missing, and parents turned psycho said my dad one time. Hilarious, is it not? How such kind looking people would turn into freaks all of a sudden. 
Almost. Almost like something else was going on. You better don't want to know too much, so let's go and play. Okay. Whoa. Oh. Dad burned mom's hand once. Did I told you that before? She apparently didn't listen to what he said, so he gave her, let's say, a permanent lesson. Mom didn't listen a lot to me either. She was too busy taking care of that little runt all the time to the point she never had time for me. Whoa. This refrigerator is actually really good at keeping things cool. Dad used it all the time for his drinks, but I found eventually, well, I found other uses for it. It's... It's best we keep it at that for now. You want to play yet? <laughs> Ever heard of the concept of permanence? It means that things never stays the same and eventually changes, no matter how hard you try to postpone it. For example, See this family laughing with big, bright smiles? They are no longer laughing. I can tell you that for sure. I recommend you remember that. Okay. Ah, uh, I remember a bit of this girl now. She actually turned up dead. Would you believe that? Hilarious, really. Beaten to the point of no recognition by her own parents that went on town with her face. The prior girl of this room would hide away wherever she could when her parents became aggressive, but was eventually found, I suppose. After all, her body was found right here, in the closet. Damn. Either you didn't like what I was going to put on TV, or you were obnoxiously impatient. I'll go search for something again, but I want to stress out that my patience is not to be played around with. We can have fun on this floor, so why the rush to leave? In other words, don't. <laughs> don't. The shrine is now... Nothing. I'd say I'm sorry, but I'm not. I told you not to get near that mirror, and you did not listen. All I want to do is play with you, and all you do is to put your nose into things that you should not, and quite frankly, that's pissing me off. Forget the mirror. You're not that good looking to begin with, so you don't need it in the first place. Damn, that's cold. I say I look pretty fine. Hopefully. Oh. Unless you want to end up like mommy crying her heart out in the shower, I'd advise you to move on. There are more interesting things to do, like play hide and seek. With other words, move on. <laughs> it's still a toilet. Why would you need me to tell you this? If you want to cry on the pot like my mom used to do, be my guest. But first we play. Play? Oh. This was my room, my space. Then the stranger came in and took everything from me. But now she is dead. Mom wouldn't even read me stories at night anymore. All because of her. That little cockroach took every moment away from my mom. She was like an infestation that needed to be exterminated. They wouldn't allow me inside. My own mom ran away and hid from me with that little brat. I kept pleading and asking to be let in, but she didn't let me in. I just wanted mom to notice me. 
It's really all I wanted, but she never did. She was even afraid of me. It's all her fault. If she would have never been born, we would have been having fun every day. But then, she came into the picture, and she ruined it. Oh. Okay. I told it to back off for now. Have you any idea how close you came to be its playmate instead? Who do you think saved you from it? Who do you think gave you the opportunity to play with me instead? And I did. And you betrayed me over and over and over again. I, next time I'll just let it tear you to pieces instead. <laughs> Dad was always a third wheel. The corruption of it worked fast on him. My mom got the full force from his brutality afterwards, but me and it, we went quite along with each other. Eventually, my dad came too close to really harm my mom, so I killed him and shoved his body parts in the closet. You'd think mom would be grateful, but she was a lot like you. Running away and being ungrateful. Damn. Because you're crazy! <laughs> Gone. Dead. And good riddance. Too much like my own sister of an abomination. And just like with wild weed, you just need to kill it. Oh, I found a fun new game I might play with you. It seems to me that you don't really want to talk and seek anyway. So, why not play a game to see how far we can chop you up until you are dead? After that, you will just join our family. <laughs> we can play forever and ever. Forever and ever. Maybe I should admit something. There were never prior families before we moved in. We were here first. They were the ones moving in. They were the ones taking my room and changing everything how it used to be. It was just natural that we played around with them. They didn't like it, but it didn't like them either. I had some fun with the young one until she bored me. After that, I just let its corruption do its job and spectate the fun from above. Okay. <laughs> if you are going to stay disobedient, we will have to teach you a lesson. We can start with the hands and then move up to the face. Be honest, it would be an improvement after all. What the other usage for this refrigerator was? It was handy to stash the remains of my sister in. Her eyes kept staring at me as if she thought I was a monster. She was the real monster. She took everything from me. My mom only ever cared about her. And now she is stuck and dead in a fridge. It's quite a cool how things can turn out. Wouldn't you say so? Damn, look at, look, alcohol dead. But uh, I was gonna say, <laughs> yeah, jealousy is scary. Do you think dead people are happy. I'm just asking because I know for a fact that they are no longer laughing. And neither will you if you keep pissing me off. I don't think dead people are necessarily happy. Maybe some of them, but I don't think that they are happy, you know. I think they were happy when, uh, oh. Oh, hi. Ignore her. That bitch is just jealous. She isn't my favorite toy anymore. I had my fun when she was alive, and now she acts all depressed. All of these kids depress me as they still don't want to play with me. Huh, okay. <laughs> How do I get in there? Do I need a hammer or something? <laughs> You going to stay put this time and watch once I found the footage I want to show you. No more running away. And whoever the little cunt is that is giving you these pathways to escape from, I'll get her too. Okay. <laughs> I don't think none of us want to look at that ugly mug of yours. Damn. The only value you have is to be there for my amusement. 
If you start to bore me, well, you'll find out. Oh, wait, can we go to the shrine? Oh, there's nothing here. I'm behind you. Okay. Oh god. It is <laughs> taking care of the shower for now, so don't bother. It's not like you'll be alive long enough to have to use one because you are slowly starting to bore me anyway. Damn. Where are you going? There is nothing. Wait. Come back now. <laughs> there is nothing there for you. If you go in there and keep defying me and whoever is helping you once I find the runt, <laughs> I will stop being nice to you. <laughs> My god. From all the places you still ask about the toilet. If you keep this attitude, I might just drown you into it. I've not done that one yet, so who knows? It might be fun. Might be a fitting end for a little shit like you. Holy crap. That's crazy. Do not leave me. 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 If you don't come play with me, then we will kill you. Oh god. The adventure with Alice will continue soon. Oh, uh, okay. This looks creepy. So, yeah. Thank you guys. Keep, you know, keep on supporting me, please. And, uh, yeah. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.